basic, uh, well, soldiers, elves. Fuck elves. Band, wow, the first one to ban Keanu Reeves. Um, what is this? What do you play with basic Despina? One turn kill? Emo tip level 14 might be mm, level 14 might be a starter deck actually. We play against soldiers, it seems. Uh, we kind of want to keep it dragon. I should have kept it. <laughs> Fuck. But we have something against the rage, uh, against the rage, against the rush. Obviously, the good old holy radiance right there. Only thing that sucks about it is that we have to go up to order, and we can't really. That benefit off of the Dust Titan that way. Takes a little bit longer until we can actually play him, basically. Uh, and since he's level 14, as I've stated, that's going to be starter decks. So... We're going to have to deal with the rush. I should have considered... Take that in, I should have taken that into consideration when I when I banned. Maybe I should have banned soldiers and not uh, elves. Okay. That puts things in a different perspective. <clears throat> As for now, at least. Maybe not gonna play it right away. But yeah, since he's a newer player, Reign of the Underworld is gonna be <laughs> pretty damn terrible to play against him. Gonna makes me feel a little bit bad, but you know. Sometimes you just have to face bullshit, and uh, maybe that's exactly what's gonna happen. And maybe I'm actually gonna use this unstable reactor to let it blow up, even though that's usually not what you use it for. Thomatic Laboratory. Nice meme, for sure. Maybe even buff it up to make sure it blows up faster. I mean, I don't really. I, I I just have terrible draws right here. Like I don't, I don't draw anything good, at all, which definitely blows. I can also use uh, one spell trying to or skill trying to go up aspects, which would make sense because I have two laboratories in there, and I should definitely blow this up as soon as possible. <laughs> Reminds me of. <laughs> I watched The Shining recently, by the way, for the first time. And <laughs> one of the greatest movies, hands down, ever. I fucking that movie made me deeply in love with Jack Nicholson. Also watched One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, which is an awesome movie, by the way. Love this guy. Love every every part of it. Uh, you know what? We can actually just no, we don't have to let it blow up. We can just go with, for this. Oh, I could have just you. I could have just used it normally, you know, just put it, like, one damage to everything, it would have dealt with the entire board. Because it also deals with this. Because he gets weaker, he's only a 1-1 when everything else is gone, and then he just takes one damage and he's gone. Okay, that's gonna help him a little bit. Maybe? Maybe it was the right decision to play it like this. I mean, otherwise he wouldn't have, wouldn't have had anything to play that uh, on. Doesn't go in with the other creatures? I mean, why not? Yeah, just go in before you lose everything. <clears throat> 7, 8, 9 damage coming in. Down to 9 HP. Pretty severe. Pretty severe beating with Angelic Might right there. But yeah, that might be the right decision now. Cause... Shawam! <laughs> there you go. Alright then, Force Mage. To the rescue. Give you that mana. Bam. Value. But yeah, obviously a rush deck. 
Also with um, Night Recruiter, which is... People don't give it, enough, give it enough credit, I feel. He's definitely a force to be reckoned with in Soldiers. Because he can be pretty damn... Pretty damn terrifying. As we can see right here. That's one of my good friends, actually. And that's another Dust Titan. But it takes a little bit of time for him. He takes a long-ass time for now. <clears throat> Would love to be able to shock something. Well, it's an instant spell. It's only one mana. So I think I'm gonna play it like this. And then hit him with the ambush symbol of faith. Symbol of faith out of nowhere. But yeah, he has six cards, so he has a lot of options still. And that nine damage uh, in one turn was a little bit terrifying, I gotta say. I'm not gonna lie about that. Oh, primal battle. Oh yeah, that sucks. He didn't take damage? Shouldn't he have taken two damage from that? Weird. Weird for sure. Ah, that's also not gonna kill this. Fuck! <sighs> Alright, well, that's okay. That's okay. I can still kill it off. Uh, this one, at least. Yeah, you can summon another one. Wouldn't also be a problem, though. Alright. Okay, get that. Let's go. Also, just make sure that he doesn't do anything against this guy. <clears throat> and we have one Dust Titan out next turn that we can buff up straight away. So, we kind of stabilize. Another Angelic Might would be a little bit terrifying. So, he also probably has War Fanfares, which is plus one, plus one for everything. So, there would be six damage coming in. Nah, I don't think he can do much. I mean, at least he can't win now. That's... That's for certain. So, these two are gonna get shocked. That's also something that is gonna happen. Another one of my friends. Pretty good. So, I'm gonna get rid of you for now. I kinda saw that shit coming. So, one mana. Unless we just lose. Uh, let's shock that. Yeah, let's feed your mana for now. Shock that. I'm going for beats. Ah, fuck. Fucking pacify. Yeah, Angelic Might, definitely underestimated, I would say. Angelic Song. Jesus Christ, you're going with the memes here. You're going with the straight up memes. Buffing him up again. Shock that. Shock that. Get that out. Yeah, he doesn't have any mana, so... Beats. That was two? Yeah, Pacify was two. Alright. <clears throat> I can shock for days now with... With Energy Burst and, uh... 
with unstable reactor. Even if I get another dust titan, that would be ideal, obviously. I can just go f uh, for, the char for the charge all right. Trade over ma mana that way. Energy. It's not mana. <clears throat> I just have to maintain the presence, obviously, of what I, what I shock and, 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 and shit. One thing I'm terrified, though, is obviously freaking pacify now. That can screw me over big time. Wall in the north. Man, come on. Fuck that nonsense. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Come on, something big. Ah, that's nothing big. Okay. Hold on, how much is this? That's two mana. So it doesn't really matter which one I buff up here. I think. <clears throat> Shock that. Uh, don't really care about- Nah, well, I should care about these, actually. Since they have, uh, three speed. I still have to attack this. Ah, fuck me, dead. See what you got. I'd rather you don't show me though what you got. <laughs> okay, that's three damage. Uh, I don't want to use this though, that kind of sucks. But I have to now. No, I do. Oh, fuck, fuck, fucking one. God damn it, dude. All right. Basic soldiers. Ugh. Am I still gonna use this deck? I'm gonna play it again. I'll never say. If he doesn't, I'm gonna change. But now we're gonna see what basic. Well, that's that. that that's. Yeah, that's a draw again. Fuck that. That's nothing. Double the mana for Force Mage, at least. I don't need three of these. That's a little bit... A little overdoing it. But yeah, basic Dominion. But yeah, he played a little bit, level 14, so that's why he actually had to go more. Kinda doubt that that is in the... In the standard... Uh, fuck me, Dad, can I get a freaking good shrine, maybe? That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, I doubt I, I, I that that is in the in the standard order, basic order. Um, losing words. What the fuck? In the order starter deck. There you go. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I think it's time. Unstable reactor, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I wanna keep this. Could save my ass. There we go. That's a good clean boy. Um, Sparking in for Seluxio? Seems flare. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think... I don't think, yeah. I think I saw that against the um, Rex's Angel deck, but that was range, that shield emblems don't save you from deadly. I don't want to run Seluxio into this crap. So maybe I'd rather use this on, or block it off with KFC. If 
I would have a 3-3 creature. Kind, kind of like Seluxio. I could have actually do anything against this, but... Not really. Not anymore, also, with this unstable uh, metabolic overcharger right there. This deck needs too long. This is kind of a rush deck. Since it's a, since it's a starter deck. Hmm... Yeah, well, it doesn't do anything at the moment. And my luck again. Gonna go for a mana, however. Because in the long run, that's gonna help me out more. And then that into... Sure. Into that. All right. <clears throat> I mean, blocking hero ability is not that important, actually, against uh, basic Despina, I think. But I might as well. Never mind, then. So far, also, for the frickin' shield emblem there. So if I go for... Hmm. He can kill me next turn. Yeah, and I also didn't draw New Horizons once, by the way. <clears throat> I can. I know, I can. Uh... I know, wait, I can't. Yes, I can. I can kill off this by just using a uh, buffing of this one. Mm, even though I think I'm gonna double buff to make sure that he doesn't block with Saluxio. Let's see, he's gonna go down to three, he's gonna go down to two, he's gonna do five damage next turn. Yeah, I guess I, have to, guess I have to go for mana here and not for the level because I wanted to set up Dust Titan. But that might be the right decision. Timea is also pretty good, but I think I have to do double KFC. Double KFC is also going to be able to block. Yeah. Kill this. Also, charged R rate is gonna, isn't going to do anything anymore, so might might as well get a little bit of value out of it as long as it's still on the board. Yeah, I should have gone for the Order Shrine to because didn't know if I want to actually go up Aspect or Mana. Always think before you do. For Sheezy. That's not enough. Wait. Ma'am. Five damage gets through. Yeah. Solid. Keep that on the back line. And give me a freaking wisdom shrine or I'm gonna be shanked. Thank God. Thank God! Remember this guy? He's shockingly beautiful. If I do say so myself. Let's go. We're in it to win it. And he slowly gets less frightening over time or she <clears throat> we're still in it that is pretty good that he did that I don't know why
Not really sure why he did that. But I'm gonna keep these guys on the back line as long as I can. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Taimea, give him give him the Might Emblem. I can get rid of him. Let's see if we draw something interesting. Not really. So I'm gonna give you that. Okay. Mmm. I'm gonna keep the um, my emblem on him for now. Yeah, and Seluxia so is gonna be gone next turn. Oh, well, she survives one more one more turn. Oh, yeah, maybe I should have shocked these two actually. Could have gone in for one damage. Well, I think I think this guy can attack. No, wait, this one. He played this one before, and then he played this. <clears throat> right. Oh, can they both attack now? Not entirely sure. Come on, dude. <sighs> Crap. I don't... I have to block this, because I don't want to risk that he... Oh, wait. No, I don't have to. Right? Let's see. Oh, no, I have to take make combat damage to a hero. Because what I wanted to do is um, not attack this, like this. Because um, I would get the Might Emblem... Just transfer the Might Emblem from the KFC to her. But I have to make combat damage, damage to a hero, so it doesn't work. So I have to do it like this. Yes. Because I don't want to risk him having... Apparently he doesn't have it now. Um, assassinate. Is Cataclysm in there? Maybe he, maybe he crafted it or something? Or uh, like drew it? Would suck, definitely, because I don't really have any answers after that, if he happens to play that. Cloning that, not gonna do anything, since the creature is a slave in the first place. Uh, that prolongs it not, because I can shock it. Zero cards left, yeah, that's gone. That's game. Oh, my boys! Reign of the Underworld! Next. And we have a... That's considerably a good hand, so I'm gonna keep it. The only thing that aggravates the fuck out of me in the deck that he plays is the freaking metabolic overchargers and whatnot. They are a pain in the freaking ass to play against. <clears throat> but yeah, we're gonna go haywire right now. We're gonna go Aspect City. Before we actually go for card draw and mana. And that's a fact. Yeah, I play that guy. I'm gonna obnoxious fumes the fuck out of him. Get out of here, boy. Get the fuck out of here. Let's see if we can. Yep, that's what I wanted. <clears throat> So, mana, aspect, second turn from now, Necromantic Cult. Cloning that, straight off the bat. Pretty good, pretty good for him. Kinda sucks for us. Double Sexibus in hand. That's a sight for sore eyes for sure. Oh, ah, no, no. I was about to say I played that wrong, but I, did, but I didn't. Because, you know, I have Spark. I can use that though next turn to get to ensure a might emblem on him. 
if I happen to kill something, that is. If you play something with one speed, for sure. Or that. That's, that's gonna be, yeah. No. Okay. Thought it wasn't, I thought for sure it was gonna be a tortured orc. But all right. I hope he takes the bait. I just hope he does. Block it, come on. Fuck! I underestimated him. Shit, I fucking wasted that spark. Damn it! <laughs> God damn it. But yeah, my friends, Reign of the Underworld. Even though he kind of profits off that, since he can just use cloning that. Oh yeah, that was a waste. No, you dick. You're just the worst kind of person, I hope you know that. People don't do that, come on, man. What the fuck? Why? Did that end... And, and, and trollic? Ne did that necromantic cult do anything to you? No, it didn't. So now, you kind of angered me. And now, my friend, I have to give you the business. And the business, even though I'm probably going to regret this because he's going to use fucking cloning med for that, is not the reign of the underworld yet because I actually decided to go for this. Yes. Yeah. Still angered me. Just wanted to make that. Just wanted to clarify that. By the way, second win, win condition, we haven't uh, also really played that yet, is obviously Shiara. So we're gonna have to wait if we can actually draw it and play it. One of the two has happened so far, I think. <coughs> but the playing part hasn't really occurred yet. <coughs> So maybe we can correct that mistake. <laughs> Blood-seeking Mutento. Didn't use cloning that yet. Probably gonna use that afterwards, I guess. <clears throat> and at least... Grappling Hook isn't... Doesn't make the creature unstoppable. Because that would suck. And now that, I can't use that, really. But at least it's time for the reign of the underworld. Let's go with the memes, my boys. Let's go with the memes. And that's definitely a meme. Have fun. Ah, well, it, her hero ability is going to help her out uh, immensely. So she has, she has, she has, it's... It's not the worst situation she's in at the moment. She has cloning that, she has her hero ability, both of those are really good against <coughs> Reign of the Underworld. But I kinda doubt that he has two cloning mats in his hand, but he can, atta he can attack now. Yep. <laughs> Which kinda blows. But I can get the 3 damage from the Bloodseeking Utento out real quick when I just play the Sexy Bus. <coughs> Definitely gonna DO the Valley because I don't need that. Now we're just gonna have to wait and see until we draw Shiara. Just gonna have to hold up until then. Assassinate, really? Hmm. Okay. This one is gonna do jack shit next turn. 
Well, it's also gonna do jack shit this turn. <laughs> um, with the Blasting Mutant, he's gonna be on the turn, uh, on turn, on the board for a little bit longer. He's gonna sack this, try to attack with the Sexibus, but he's obviously gonna block with the with the Enchained Souls. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That Shadow Staff Assassin is gonna do much for you there. Oh wait, what I'm what am I saying? I'm just I can just um consume it. Yeah. I'm just gonna consume the fuck out of that little mutant right there. <coughs> oh! Ooh. Memes. Power seeker, interesting. Oh. 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 Oh, so good. <laughs> that was just quarter chop right there. <laughs> Gee, that would that wow. Yeah, that was top deck for the ages. Jesus Christ, dude. That just mm. That was delicious. Get ready for that sweetness. That was the ideal top deck right there. Yes! I love me some word of pains. Mm. And that was a not the best play if you don't have another creature to sack. Now well now well yeah yeah. Sack this and chain soul from the cloning vat. Go in for at least three beats this turn. <laughs> <coughs> So I'm just gonna consume spirit one of them, turn the next zombie into a Enchained Soul, the next one that I spawned from... Really? He sacked the... Why do you sack a Bloodsick Mutant and not this? I mean, yeah, it's three speed, but I mean, still. Kinda odd. <clears throat> Giara! Mmm. Oh my god, dude. Uh, not gonna kill anything on his side, though. I think I can survive one more turn as well. So, get ready for my sweetness. Whoop. And this. I'm not gonna go in for seven. Yeah, because he can block with one of these, but at least I can rid of, get rid of one... And chain soul, and that's one less soul for him. Boop. Kind of a shame. Would have loved to go in for seven beats there. <coughs> but I slowly drain him out, I feel. Seven mana. I need seven mana for my ideal combo. Because I want to go Giara into... Soul Prison into Zombify, that gets me the most value at the moment. Because he's gonna kill one creature, and I'm gonna get uh, an Enchained Soul for that. As you can see, like, whenever not- Ah, well, I'm done Spirit Creature, he can- he's, he can go for one of the Enchained Souls, but then he has uh, trouble managing the slaves right here. <laughs> I'm not gonna block that. Are you insane? <laughs> oh, well, I'm gonna block this, though. But I don't have issues with that. Come on. Okay, dude. Let's go. Memes. Oh, the double Giara draw. Whoop! Into this. Into this. And it should... Nah, that, that doesn't take care of my slave problem, though. Barely.
Okay, that guy. Hmm, four, five, six damage coming in next turn. I'm gonna keep the the enchant souls for now. Don't go in for beats, of course. Not gonna do that. Ah, it doesn't stay for. I forgot it's uh, metabolic overcharger right there. So it's only five beats. <clears throat> Could go for card draw with sell into slavery. And I also feel, by the way, this game has gone on for a long time. I think we are actually the last ones to finish to conclude. Could be a thing. But at least people can still see the the great <laughs> the great showcase of. Well, I have a Shiara of my own. That doesn't concern me. Can see the great value of um, Reign of the Underworld. I can also just play freaking Undead Necromancer, my friend. There are so many options. Like you don't understand. And your Shiara is gonna shrink. Mine just reigns supreme. And that's a natural effect because the three is where my heart is at. Easy. <laughs> Thankfully, I drew that second Shiara. Otherwise, it would have been a bad meme now. Ah, shit. Let's play Shiara. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. That's what Daddy likes. That's what Daddy doesn't really like, though. Um. Shit. <laughs> Let's see. Um Can't really attack now. Do I need the mana? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna use hero ability just to stabilize a little bit. So go for mana. Boop. Make him discard that last card. Which was a yeah, okay. Just to get the life back, basically. Because attacking here doesn't really do much for me, I feel. Yes. <clears throat> the shrinking. The Giara Mirror. <laughs> oh, he played. Oh, yeah. He played that guy. Since he's, an he's not a spirit, only one HP. Minus one, minus one for non spirit creatures. That's why that happened. <clears throat> Has to be non summoned, yeah. Okay. Get rid of that. Still triggered, eh? Okay, I don't need mana, so I'm gonna go for the card draw here. Mm, and I'm gonna get two Enchained Souls. Or one. Okay. The spirit standoff. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have a two, two, however. And a four, five. It's one speed, but it's still a thing. <coughs> Uh, 
How about no? Are you dead ass? No. Nah. Nah. It's not gonna work, dude. How's it going, dude? Okay, so he just wants to end this, I guess. But I'm definitely gonna keep my Shiara, that's for sure. I hope I can keep it. That's gonna be a little bit scary. But I think we're good. One, two, three, four. Gonna have to block one more. A little bit of a rhyme there. One, two, three damage. Okay. I'm keeping that Giara, my friend. And the victory! Emotep resigned. I guess that was too much for him. And we have... <laughs> yeah, we were the last ones to finish. That doesn't really surprise me. We have reigned supreme there, but... Uh, barely got... Barely have gotten the third place right there. Barely. Fourth place. And let's claim our rewards. I think if he would have won, like... Two games clean, 2-0 against good old, uh, what was his name? Was too entangled in all the freaking Giara mess uh, against Emotep. If we would have won 2-0 clean, maybe, maybe it would have been in third place. <coughs> yeah, like the three, three pointers right here, gonna be, gonna be kidding me. See if there's anything going on right there, nothing in the chat. Alright, so the tournament concludes with the Porrets. One point. Uh, on uh, ninth place, we have Rex on the eighth place against. Against. On the eighth place, we have Rex with also one point, followed by Emotap also with one point. Then we have on place six, Vegeta 69 with two points, Zoro 1 with two points, then me on fourth place should be on three. Uh, with three points, we have Richinhu, who played against uh, Stolyol, by the way. Uh, for the for um, the first place uh, on third with with three points Andriola on second place with three points and then Stolyol clean swoop one four zero with wasn't he playing the three rush decks was that him no, I think it was Andriola one of, one of those two actually bought three rush decks so not sure if deserved or not but um, yeah for these fellas they just got themselves the Andriola card back so congratulations to you you douches. And uh, next time play a little bit worse so I can actually get it myself because you know I you guys you got you guys play for yourself You know, I have a YouTube channel to maintain people have to see good. You know, they have to see different stuff also different card packs. I mean I mean overall collection wise, you know It kind of works out since also by the way got the Rygon card back from uh, from the random raffle um, From the I still have 25 coins from the Winter event, um, yeah, but still, you know, I have I have a bunch of them. Also, the arrow lag I got from that, but um, still, you know, people need to see different stuff. And also, by the way, the wisdom card back, I think I also got that from there. Uh, yeah, the wisdom one right here. But yeah, still, you know, the point is people have to de have to de have to see different stuff. And you guys don't run YouTube channels, at least not not that I'm aware, I'm aware of. So privileges. But with that being said, um, that was uh, the Saturday Conquest from uh, the 12th of January. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next Spellweaver related video. Of course, we're going to come back, by the way. Uh, that was the first video in 2019, Spellweaver wise. And there is going to be a lot more coming. Uh, Spellweaver Ranked is also going to be coming back because I actually don't have a rank at the moment, just to let you know. Um, I guess that's what happens uh, at the new year, not too sure, but we are not ranked, so we have to rank again, so, and we're gonna have to see where we're gonna end up in, uh, end up in, end up on, something like that. Terrible Grammar still remains in 2019 as well, so I hope you enjoyed this Saturday Conquest, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next Spellweaver-related video.